while your personal flowers might seem like the smallest floral need you have on your checklist, they're actually among the most important. They will nearly be in every photo that you take. So let's go through your personal flower list. Mainly it would begin with your bridal bouquet. Now this is the most predominant floral piece of the entire wedding. The flowers and designs should work with your dress and with the ceremony decor. You see, your bridal bouquet to me is like an accessory, like your hair, your makeup, your jewelry, your shoes, your bridal bouquet is actually an embellishment, which is an accessory to you as well as a bride. Now, which by nature, this should include together a combination of things. Think about the shape that you consider a round traditional look or a finished fabric candle, a shabby chic natural look, which is exposed stems, a long dripping bouquet, or any combination of the above. I love when brides add personality to their bouquet, like a heirloom brooch, a special locket, dripping crystals like the one I have here for my lying down the aisle in style. All of this adds the personality, even a handmade fabric flower for a truly unique design. The toss bouquet. This is the smaller non-keepsake bouquet that you will throw away during your reception and should be considered to match the color and flowers to your bridal bouquet. Boutonnieres, very important for the guys. These small flower pins will be given to your groom, the groomsmen, and the fathers to be pinned on their lapel. The right side lapel is where each of the boutonnieres over your heart gets pinned. Now the colors and styles should be drawn from the bouquet and the grooms should be made slightly more special or larger to stand out. The younger groomsmen's or ring bearers should receive a mini version as well. The bridesmaids bouquet is so important as well. These bouquets will be passed out to your bridal party. They can match or vary in color or shape, but not both as they should be considered to match and have the same look. Your maid of honor should receive a larger or otherwise unique bouquet to set her apart. These two can draw inspiration from the bride's bouquet or the overall look of the ceremony. Necrosages, or pins for the mother of the bride and mother of the groom. These pieces are essentially a little oversized than boutonnieres that the guys will be wearing and should also be matching the wedding day theme. Petals for the flower girls. These little flower girls may carry a basket, a cone, or any other element that gives them that sort of whimsical feeling when they're walking down the aisle. Tossing lavender or fake snow besides the petals or even lucky pennies adds a special touch as they walk down the aisle.